Our next guest burst onto the scene in the early 2000s. After starting his career in television, he started in a series of award-winning projects like Slumdog Millionaire. Jamal Malik, you're absolutely right! And lying. Start with where you're from. <laughs> Calcutta. Which part? I'm adopted, I'm not really Indian. He joins us now to talk about his directorial debut, which he describes as an anthem for underdogs. Dev Patel, welcome to Nightline. Thank you so much for having me. Dev, how's it going, man? I mean, the movie was unbelievable. How are you feeling? I'm pretty, you know, it's thrilling. You know, I, it's, it's really been one of the most humbling, exhausting, you know, nourishing experiences of my life. It's been over 10 years, you mm -hmm. know, of my life trying to birth this thing. Is it safe to say that this moment right now wasn't originally in the cards. I mean, you're a kid from London <laughs> who got his acting debut after his mom found a casting advertisement, in, I, I believe in the newspaper. Now you're here, you're acting, you're directing, screenwriter, producer. Was this all part of the plan or is this just fate? I guess I wanted to make a film that young Dev, you know, 14 year old Dev would always want to see, you know, from growing up watching Bruce Lee through the banister and looking at this man with this similar color skin as me and dark hair with so much charisma, I wanted to exist in the genre. Uh, and I wanted my, my culture, my ancestry, you know, my reality to kind of be expressed in, in a genre that I love so much. We're going to talk a little bit about the film Monkey Man, but before we get to that, I want to watch a clip first. This, I don't, I don't want charity. What I need is a, is a job. This is King's. We just don't hire off the street. Where's your references? Your CV? Hmm? Look, I don't have time for all this. You pass it over, John. This. There's my CV. <laughs> That's bleach. Chemical, oil. Give me the job no one wants to do, I'll do it. I mean, <laughs> we've got drama, we've got action, sort of that unmistakable Bollywood flair that really struck me, especially when I was growing up watching those kinds of movies. What was it like sort of combining all of these genres and how did you know that it would sort of translate to, to an audience? I think it was born from me not wanting to be boxed in as a performer. And, you know, I have this dual identity, you know, gr growing up in the UK, you know, my parents are of Kenyan descent. I've grown up, you know, with my mom listening to Boney M, B Bollywood music, all of it, you know, it kind of like is this, this cocktail that makes me. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I wanted that expressed in cinema as well. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's an ode to all of these bombastic Bollywood movies, uh, the action films, the Korean cinema, the revenge films that I love so dearly, it's all of it. A huge part of this film is the story of Hanuman. I mean, even the film even starts by you reading a comic uh, about the story of the monkey god. The white monkey. When did you know that this iconography would actually make sense in, in movie form? And how did you make it understandable for, for audiences worldwide? So my dad, he has this chain around his neck with this monkey holding a mountain in one hand. And I was like, Dad, but what, what is that? And he goes, wait till your granddad comes back from Kenya and he'll tell you. And he told me these stories of the Ramayana, these Indian mythological epics, and this, this story of this monkey who represents strength and nobility, courage, justice. He totally fascinated me, and the iconography is very akin to, you know, Western iconography of Superman splitting his chest, flying, the strength. If you go to India, you'll see, you know, in the gyms, they've got Arnold Schwarzenegger and Hanuman, you know, on the walls. Um, but for me, he was also a hero that had lost faith in himself. He forgot who he was and his potential. So for me to create an action hero that, you know, didn't have confidence, was traumatized, has somewhere to go, is a true underdog, that, that was kind of the, the journey for me, is taking this mythology and grounding it in something plausible and culturally relevant and, and, and political and, and soulful. You're really not afraid to go there, especially with issues that are affecting India, but I do think resonate globally. I mean, we're talking about marginalized communities, classism, greed, corruption. Why was it important for an action movie to, to delve into these issues, and why now? I think. We, everyone in this room, we're all the underdogs of our own story. Everyone has to go through trauma to reach triumph. And, and, and for me, this is a scarred hero, not only physically, but emotionally. And through finding other scarred individuals, they build them up. 
you actually yeah. broke your hand in one of those kind of incredibly choreographed fight scenes. Yeah. How did you recover? And what was that training like, especially delving in, in, into sort of this new age action superhero role? The, the first scene we had was this huge fight in this bathroom. And um, in that scene, you know, my hand got broken. And I, I turned to my producing partner, Joe, and I go, I heard it, that, you know, it's, it's broken. Don't tell anyone, let's just finish the shooting day. And as we carried on shooting the scene, my hand started to balloon. I got put under, they put a screw in. And then the doctor, he made me, you know, promise him basically, don't put any weight on this hand, no more than like a pound or two of pressure. And I was like, copy that, got you. Then we went straight back to set. And I no remember way. I was like flinging myself out a window. Literal blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> yeah. went into Not this Not quite role. Jackie Chan, <laughs> but you know, I tried. Um, alongside yourself, Jordan Peele was actually a producer in, mm. uh, in this movie. What was it like working with him? And, and did he have any advice for you as you took on this role? I got this call from my agent saying, have you heard of this guy, Jordan Peele? And I was like, of course. Oh, he, get out for Yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. He's a titan in the industry. And we got on the phone on a Zoom call, and um, he really understood what I was going for because, you know, he uses genre to such an incredible effect to talk about topics that are heavier, more weightier. You said that since Slumdog Millionaire, you can't go to a wedding without hearing J Ho. <laughs> Now, since Monkey Man. Yeah. Is there any worry that people are just going to start challenging you to fights on yeah, the street yeah. now? You're an action star now, man. Yeah, keep me away from any frying pan or microwave. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 no. Not at all, man. No, I, I think I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> Dev, congratulations. Thank you so much. Our thanks to Ashen. Monkey Man opens in theaters Friday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.